Number one, naturalism offers the best explanation for the physical dependence of minds. Michael Tooley, a highly respected philosopher at the University of Colorado at Boulder, has stated five lines of evidence in support of this claim. First, certain injuries to, or diseases of, the brain make it impossible for a person to have any mental states at all. For example, think of someone in the final stages of Alzheimer's disease. My slide shows the difference in brain tissue between a healthy brain on the left and one with Alzheimer's on the right. Second, when an individual's brain is directly stimulated and put into a certain physical state, this causes the person to have a corresponding experience. Third, other injuries to the brain destroy various mental capacities. Which capacity is destroyed is tied directly to the particular region of the brain that was damaged. Fourth, the mental capacity of animals becomes more complex as their brains become more complex. And fifth, within any given species, the development of mental capacities is correlated with the development of neurons in the brain. In light of the evidence I just presented, Paul Draper, a highly respected agnostic philosopher, concludes that, quote, consciousness and personality are highly dependent on the brain. Nothing mental happens without something physical happening, end quote. But that strongly implies that the mind cannot exist independently of physical arrangements of matter. And this is exactly what we would expect if naturalism is true. However, if theism is true, God is a disembodied mind. God's mind is not in any sense dependent on physical arrangements of matter. But if nothing mental happens without something physical happening, that is evidence against the existence of any being who is supposed to have a disembodied mind, including God. Therefore, the physical, de physical dependence of minds is unlikely if theism is true, and that's the first reason why I think naturalism is true. Seven, naturalism is the best explanation for the fact that human minds are dependent on the physical brain. Scientific evidence shows that human consciousness is highly dependent upon the brain. In this context, nothing mental happens without something physical happening. That strongly implies that the mind cannot exist independently of physical arrangements of matter. In other words, we do not have a soul. And this is exactly what we would expect if naturalism is true. But if theism is true, then it's possible for minds to exist without physical brains. Also, theism entails the existence of at least one unembodied mind, God. God's mind is not in any sense dependent on physical arrangements of matter. So the dependence of human minds on brains is evidence against the existence of any being who is supposed to have an unembodied mind, including God, and therefore the physical nature of minds is evidence favoring naturalism over theism.